Um, what do we mean by gaining general registration and going into vocational training? Okay, so general registration is, if we first look at an Australian graduate who comes out of medical school, works as an intern for a year, and at the end of that year is granted general medical registration, which is a tick of having a certain amount of experience and have passed, passed exams as a medical student and then been watched in practice as well. So general registration for an IMG is effectively a stamp that the doctor has also passed some exams and been observed in practice or in a in the um, the AMC part two clinical exam and has reached a certain standard. If you think if you have general registration, it opens some extra doors. So it opens the doors to potentially entering vocational training and vocational training has two two pathways. The main one would be AGPT, but there's also RVTS remote remote um, vocational training scheme, which is a much smaller program and is more a, um, a rural program. The vocational training is a shorter route to fellowship and it suits people who want a more structured program, probably overall a little bit more supported and it's certainly a bit shorter, but it is more rigid as well. So there are prescribed rotations, there's a certain amount of hospital experience required, which if a doctor has come to Australia and not worked in hospitals at all, would mean that they would be required to go back to hospital in that, um, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it, the experience is fabulous. Um, but it depends, depends on what a person wants and what, what works for them. There are restrictions getting onto the vocational training, certainly do need general registration and need to either be a permanent resident or citizen by the end of training. So you can enter as a temporary resident, but you'd need to make sure that you had permanent residency or be a citizen by the end of the training. Great. So essentially you're upgrading to the level of a generally registered doctor here and then applying to the, the same program that a, a junior doctor might apply to here for general practice um, with um, a couple of caveats there. And one other, and the one other issue about rurality as well, isn't there, that um, it is a requirement to go on the rural pathway. Is that correct? Uh, no, not necessarily. Oh. The, um, the RVTS is rural oh. by definition. Um, AGPT has two streams within it. Mm -hmm. um, there's the general stream and the rural stream. With, if you're on a, the rural stream, pretty much all your positions will be um, in rural areas. Some on the general stream choose to go to rural, rural areas for part or all of their training, mm -hmm. but aren't required to. They would still have those restrictions around uh, provider numbers, wouldn't they? Or... Um, the restrictions depend. They're, they're, it depends on whether someone is on the moratorium and the moratorium. Yeah. I don't know if you've covered in one of the other sessions. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. have covered that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I'm, I'm, so uh, yeah, okay. So we, so if someone is uh, a re recently registered here, that, that it would be That's different right. than if they had been registered here for a while. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So if we had an IMG who'd been working in Australia for 15 years and then decided yep. to do AGPT, they could probably look at choosing between general and rural, but a relatively yep. recent arrival who was otherwise eligible would probably be looking at the rural stream. Yeah, gotcha. Great. All right. And I think we post a link to that uh, info about that pathway or the general practice training part program um, in the chat as well. So thanks for that. Well, thank